The Cavaliers leading by three. Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. Darius Garland is out there with the dude. And it's Windler in at the small forward position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. There might be more talent at the point guard position now, Greg, than there's ever been in the NBA. But who do you think sits at the top of that list? I mean, Kevin, there's so many incredible talents. And not that I'm dodging it, but honestly, it, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It depends on what kind of tickles your fancy in terms of the point guard. If it's the ability to shoot and play with Approach this thing, and of course now I've forgotten four or five guys that I should have added into this conversation. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, the dude in the last outing against the Bulls was huge. He contributed 31 points and seemed to pick apart the defense all night with a ton of assists. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll always remember. Kevin? Thanks for the report, D.A. Greg, phenomenal effort by him in that last game. He willed the team to victory through his talent and through that competitiveness. Let's give credit to his teammates for continuing to find this guy. They knew he had the hot hand, and they were willing to ride it all night long. Here's Suggs following the score by Cleveland. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Greg, talk about a guy who plays with competitive fire. Suggs is a powerful leader, but by example. Yeah, I mean, this guy plays with such great strength and energy, and he makes great decisions, really has an advanced understanding of the game for his age. First one falls for him. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Wagner comes in for Jonathan Isaac. And it's Ennis in for Terrence Ross. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Cavaliers leading by four. Garland the pass to fall. Cleveland moving the ball around. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And Orlando making a change here. Anthony's checked in. Here's Windler. Again, the Cavaliers score. Boy, that's all by design now. Get the shot as soon as possible on that inbound pass. Anthony kicks to Ennis. And there's the pass to Wagner. Looking for Fultz. He gets it in there. Fall with the rebound. Cleveland's gone. Five of eight from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. There's Garland. Here's Markinen. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Yeah, and remember, at seven feet tall, Markinen is tough to keep off the board. Solid at tracking down misses on that offensive glass. Now here's Anthony. Nine points last game. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Count it. Windler's got the lead up to 10 now for Cleveland. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. Anthony against Garland. Anthony kicks to Wagner. It's blocked. Hanzor looks like the Magic will retain possession here. Shot clock at six. Here's Fultz. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. Well, make no mistake, Markel Fultz, because of his athletic burst, can score on the interior. That's nicely done. Harlan finds Brooks. 
right side, Markinen. And it's good, two points. Markinen's got his second bucket of the game to go. They are just killing him on the interior. Garland against Anthony. Puts it up from 12. No good there. Nice D from Brooks. Garland looking it over. A floater. He shoots again, and Markinen lays it up and in. Markinen's got his third basket of the night right there. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Pass to Wagner. Lopez, a screen on Markinen. Here's Wagner trying to get open as Lopez. And it's Wagner missing. The Cavaliers leading by 12. Driving inside. Osman. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got four assists now tonight. Uh, Darius Garland playing the role of ball distributor to perfection. Pretty pass. Now, here's Wagner. He's guarded by Markinen. Now, Wagner. And... the dude. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far unstoppable. And so in the game for the Magic, Isaac and Carter are manning the post position. Terrence Ross is out there with Suggs. And it's Wagner in at the three. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a... Mismatch thus far in the paint. No good from Ross. The Cavaliers leading by 16. Here's Mobley, and he uses the glass on the lane. Mobley's got nine. That's their third straight make off an assist. And here is Suggs. He's got 16. To the inside. Let's it go from 11. Cavaliers with the rebound. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. There's Garland, and there's another one for the Cavaliers. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Carter sets the pick for Suggs. Trying to get open is Carter. And it's Suggs missing. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. To the middle. Here's Wagner. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Has to fall. Here is Shakur. He's guarded by Ross. Cleveland moving the ball around. Here's Allen. And it's sent back by Carter. How about the anticipation from Carter Jr.? Has a strong sense for when to go after that block shot. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. And so it's Cleveland with it. Following the bucket by Orlando. Garland with the bucket. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. It's ironic that while the league took refuge in Orlando to complete the 2020 season, 
The Magic has had no reprieve from the rash of injuries that affected its top young players the last few years. This team is well coached and plays hard. Hopefully their fortunes will change when it comes to health. Guys? All right, David, thank you. Now, here's Wagner. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. The Magic trail by 18. Now, here's Suggs. 16 points for him. Come on, pass him out, man. Carter looking around. Pass to Suggs. Just five on the clock. Here's Wagner. Once again, off the mark, Orlando. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right. him to be firmly in the driver's seat. Here's Windler. He's guarded by Ross. And it's sent back by Carter. Now, here's Suggs. Defense right on him. Ross passes to Isaac. Wagner kicks to Suggs. It's stolen. And Cleveland turns it over again. Just didn't get his hands up. When they weren't on the same page there. Cavaliers making a switch here. Osman's checked in. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Lopez is checked in for Jonathan Isaac. James Ennis comes in for Wagner. Markel Volt is checked in for Terrence Ross. And Anthony subbed in for Suggs. Well, a welcome sign for sure. When Markel Volt is making this kind of shot, it opens up the offense. The pass to Stevens. Shakur passes to Allen. Here is Shakur. Covered by Anthony. Six to shoot. Pass to Osman. Trying his luck from deep. Sinks the three-pointer. Osmond's got his second bucket of the night. The Magic trailed by 19. Here's Fultz. Eight points for him. Anthony kicks to Carter. Fultz the pass to Ennis. Back to Fultz. No good on the shot. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Here's Osman. He's got five. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Lopez outside. Anthony on the wing. Goes up at the stripe. Cavaliers with the rebound. Allen's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Shakur. Back to Osman. From deep. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Carter's got six rebounds now in the game. Over in the corner, Fultz. Kicks to Lopez. Passes it to Carter. Outside Anthony. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got 11 rebounds in the game. Shakur passes to Stevens. That shot, no good. 
And so it's Ennis bringing it up now for the Magic. Inside. Out to Anthony. To end the cold streak. And they'll get another chance. Back to Lopez. Carter outside. Just five to shoot. Anthony, the pass to Carter. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Carter's got six. I mean, out of pick and roll, Carter does a great job of positioning himself for catch and finish opportunities. There's the pass to Shakur. Here's Osman, covered by Anthony. Allen kicks to Osman. Some nice passing by Cleveland here, and the shot goes in. The dude's got six points in the quarter. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Fultz with the ball. Twenty feet out. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers with a And there may not be a lot of drop. For Brooks. And a change for the Magic. Wagner's checked in for Anthony. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter to the paint. And there's Suggs on the assist from Ross. Suggs has got 20. Yeah, great anticipation of where the open man was going to be. And Terrence Ross finds him immediately. That's really pretty. They've got falls. Lowry Markin and is out there with Mobley. Then it's Darius Garland. And it's Shakur and it's the two guard. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Carter right side. And that one hits back iron. The Cavaliers leading by 13. He takes it in. And that one, good. And that's now 29 points for the dude. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Now here's Ross. Markinen pulls it in. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Garland, the pass to Markinen. Here's the screen over to the left wing. Outside Garland, lock at six. 
From deep. Orlando grabs the miss. Carter's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Here's Garland. Jalen Suggs making his last shot. Pass to Shakur. Here's Fall. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And that one's good, Wagner. Wagner's got six in the quarter. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Garland, the pass to Shakur. Suggs with the steal. Here's Wagner. Misses the three. The Cavaliers leading by 13. Shakur kicks to Garland. Pass to Mobley. Right wing. Passes to Shakur. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for Cleveland. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Allen's checked in for the Cavaliers. And this August, the Summer League was back in Las Vegas, Greg, and that's where you're from. Here's Suggs. Ross on the wing. Now Suggs. Ross with a screen on Garland. Once again off the mark, Orlando. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Good on the triple. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. It's blocked. And here is Allen. Shakur passes to fall. Out left to the wing. In the corner, it's Mobley. Six on the shot clock. Garland, offensive rebound with the second effort. Fall passes to Shakur. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Magic trailed by 19. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Cavaliers. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They, they got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. And in a three-game season series, they take the first two and certainly 
they've had the edge in this matchup. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for the dude. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Just two seconds between shot clock and game time. Lined up there for Allen, and Allen slams it in. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Pretty dime there, the kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Outside Garland. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One. That... MP, you feeling good? Yeah, I'm good, man. You sure? You know, you look like you need some fresh air. Maybe you should take a...
Hey, yo, MP. Talk to me, man. Yo, this is ridiculous, bro. This is mine? <laughs> yo, who surprises someone with a penthouse? You know, you got a good point. I am pretty special. Rick, everybody I know is here, man. This is crazy. I mean, it's not that hard to keep a contact on your phone, bro. Yeah, for, for you, you know, that's a big deal, man. You got a big mouth, bro. I know hey, I must have took a lot of self-control, yeah. Look, I mean, when you love somebody like a son, you'll do anything for him. Look, I did practically make you the man you are today. Yeah, yeah, look, you know, you my son. Don't forget that. You know, it's so funny that you mentioned being my son, because, you know, I actually got you another surprise. Huh? It's big, too. It's like bike under the Christmas tree. Hold on, this ain't the bike? Nah, this is like a second bike. Because that's the kind of dad I am. I'm a two-bike dad. <laughs> Hell, you got my <laughs> Follow me, son. <laughs> hey, Fry, what we got? And it's windy up here, bro. <laughs> yeah, I guess we are pretty high up. I mean, it's good for intimidating our enemies. <laughs> All right, Rick, what you want to show me? What about got a hoop? Right, got a court up here? I, just, uh, I want to congratulate you. Oh, here you go with this. No, 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 look, be serious for a second, all right? Look, I know we joke around a lot, but I mean, look around, bro. Like, we did this. I mean, this is everything we talked about growing up. You know, the crazy part is, this is just the beginning, homie. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, where's the bike? Dang, you greedy, huh? No, 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 no. I'm hungry. Two different things. It keeps me motivated. Shit. All right, I respect it. Come on, check this out. Blood out! Blood out! What's this? Zip line. Huh? Man, look, this is your city. You should be able to go wherever you want, whenever you want. This don't look safe, bro. What? Nah. More people die in car crashes every day than on zip lines. No, no, no. Come on, you'll be fine. Ricky, you, it's, your math is off. It's a billion cars down there compared to a zip line, homie. Man, just get on it, all right? You think I'm really about to risk my golden goose? I don't know what you would do. I don't know what you would do. Now, you make a good point. Exactly. Well, what is taking you? What do you think, bro? The course. <laughs> get it in, bro. Get it in, bro. Fire. What's up? Yes, sir. I can't get it now, though. Yo, yo, I got next right here. I got next right here. Mm, shit, I don't know. Shit, I don't know. It's the fifth of the month. Ooh, a thousand VC. I said, nigga, I don't know. It's the fifth of the month. What you mean what that mean? Nigga, that mean I got shit to pay. I mean, you can bring it down here. I'll still pay you for the motherfucker. But shit, I can't do shit for it now. Rims, what rims you got? Oh, oh, she on that trash bag. Yeah, 
she always do. Come up with Nikki right there. Hmm. 